Hi guys, it's Nana here. Hope everyone is good. When I first tried to film this video, I smashed a candle and then cut my little thumb. So it's Vlogmas Day 2 and I'm coming to you with a really fun video. I'm doing the 25 facts about me tag. I initially wanted to do the 50 facts about me tag, but I honestly got to 10 and started struggling like a lot. So I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, here are some things about me. So my real name isn't Nana. Well, it is Nana. But it's not spelt the way that you guys see it. It's not spelt any any H. It is spelt a different way. I'm not going to tell you how it's spelt because it's really embarrassing. Also, my surname isn't Trina. Although most of you probably already knew that, but for those of you who think that my surname is Trina and my name is Nana Trainer, no, it's just a nickname. Trainer is not my real surname. Although myself and both of my parents were born in London, my grandparents on either side are all immigrants of Jamaica, legally of course, and my family heritage is Jamaican on both sides. When I was 12, I was in the West End. I did a production at the Royal Jury Lane with the theatre school that I was with. And yeah, I can actually say I've been on stage in a real West End theatre. Two days after I got my brand new iPhone 6, which is this guy, I dropped and smashed the screen. And it's all One Direction's fault. When I was about 15 or 16, I went through a massive emo scene phase and I'm really embarrassed even talking about it because some of the pictures I took back then were absolutely tragic and I thought I was so cool on my space with my friends that came down to here, crossed my whole eyes, but now that I look back, it's very embarrassing. I went to the first ever One Direction show from their first ever tour and I still have the ticket to prove it. My favourite pizza topping is barbecue base with pepperonis and jalapenos on top. Shush. Let's just close that window up. When I was in school, I was really, really, really into athletics and I used to run 100 meters, 200 meters and 400 meters. And I remember in sports day in year 10, I won the 100 meters heat and I thought I was Usain Bolt. I also used to tell people that I was related to Usain Bolt because we're both Jamaican and people genuinely believed me. The first album I ever got was Busted and the album was called Busted and I still have it to this day. And it's very old, I've lost the front booklet for it but I think I've had it for about 12 years. That was very awkward. The first concert I ever went to was to see My Chemical Romance at Wembley Arena and I think it was in 2006 and it was the Black Parade tour and I literally was so embarrassing, we were acting crazy, I had MCR written all over my face and my hair was like really emo and even thinking back to that day just oh, cringes me out but it was the best concert ever. I used to have piano lessons when I was in primary school but gave it up because the teacher said that I couldn't hold my hand in the right shape so that I would never be able to play the piano properly. I ended up having guitar lessons from year 8 to year 11 and I did music GCSE and I can play the guitar somewhat. The first holiday I ever went on was to Spain when I was 15 and I went on a school trip. When I was 16 I had this massive MTV style super sweet 16 in which we rented this massive hall and we had a bright pink Hummer limo to drive us around London before we went to the party and it was absolutely incredible. I shared it with my friend and we had personalised My Chemical Romance cakes and I had a like ball dress on and I felt like a princess and that was probably one of the best days of my life. I didn't know how to put on makeup until I was 18 years old and I only learned because of watching YouTube tutorials. When I was about 14 to 18 I used to only wear eyeliner, that was it, thick eyeliner but I didn't know how to do anything else, anything. I've seen One Direction more than 20 times in concert. My favourite television series of all time has got to be Gossip Girl. I was absolutely obsessed with it in school and I've just recently finished re-watching it on Netflix and it's just bringing back all the memories and I love it so, so, so much. My favourite drink is orange juice. I literally drink it all the time. I love Tropicana, but literally, I would have orange juice over alcohol any day. I went to university and studied media production for a year, but ended up dropping out because I didn't really enjoy it that much. But I kind of regret dropping out. I should have just gone through with it. I've worked in bars for several years and I absolutely love serving alcohol and pouring pint. The feeling of pouring a Carlsberg pint is like an amazing feeling to me, but I don't even drink beer and I hate the smell and the taste of beer, but I love to pour it. My favourite genre of music is rock. I've always loved rock music, which people always thought was weird. Some of my favourite bands include Bring Me The Horizon, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, Panic! At The Disco. It's absolutely my favourite genre of music. 
I have the same birthday as Kim Kardashian on the 21st of October and yeah, we're twins, we were born together. I used to be so obsessed with Harry Potter that I had my own Harry Potter website and I used to update on it, I used to just talk about the characters, just speak about how much I loved Harry Potter and it was really sad now that I look back but I love Harry Potter. I've read all the books, I've watched the movies a million times, it is my favourite book series ever in the world. My old YouTube URL came from my old Harry Potter website which was kind of like my old username back in the day and it was HPN01Fan so if you guys really want to you can go onto YouTube and search that username and watch all of my really 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 old videos going back as far as me being in school which is like 10 years ago and I have hot sauce on everything literally everything I eat I put hot sauce on I don't know why but I'm absolutely obsessed with hot sauce I used to carry it in my bag because I used to fear going like that I'd go out for dinner and my food would be bland and I have to cover it in hot sauce but yeah I love hot sauce to a crazy level so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more better and finding out things about me that I haven't really told anyone. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me one fact about you. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Vlogmas video. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye.